Hey, what's happening everyone? Cody Lefevre here, aka GZCL, giving you a bit of an update, personal update, training update, all that kinds of stuff. I'm sure some of you, maybe one of you, has uh, been wondering where the hell I've been and how things have been, training, all that kind of stuff. So this is that video. Uh, hopefully there's more videos to come. So we'll go ahead and start uh, four months ago or something like that, five months ago, uh, where a random guy came and knocked on my back door here at my cabin, way out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, asked me if I wanted a job. And the job was helping clean up water that was coming out of an old mine, uh, and it was polluting the local waterways. So this uh, water tunnel from this old mine was pumping a bunch of heavy metals, cadmium, zinc, mercury, all that stuff into the creek, and I felt like I wanted to help out. So that's what I did. I went to work and it was part time and sometimes it was full time or more than full time and I loved it. Uh, it was awesome being outside. I mean, take a look at where I'm working at. This is about 12,000 feet. Today is conditioning day, so this is why you're seeing this here. And I'm going to bring you along. Uh, and that's what I've been doing is kind of just doing high altitude conditioning to help with my rehabilitation. It's getting me active, walking around a little bit more. I can work when I want more or less, so that means if I work super hard and break myself off, then I can rest the next day. It's been awesome for getting me back to the level where I feel like I have a reasonable level of fitness, meaning I can walk around, I can hike about, I could put in a mile of a run and not feel like a complete cripple the next day. And that was more or less the nature of where I was back at the beginning of 2017 and immediately after Colorado State Championships in 2016. I've got this hell of a hip issue uh, here in my left hip and my knees are banged up from the military too. So I try to do a pretty good job of taking care of myself. Powerlifting unfortunately is not that kind to joints. So for the last couple of months, besides working out here, cleaning up water, making sure it's all clean for the fish, which I love, I've also been putting in the time training, rehabilitating myself, losing weight because that is key to my health, I have realized. I was walking around about 185, 190, 95 pounds at a five foot five tall is, I mean, that's quite obese. So I had sleep apnea, snoring problems. I wasn't sleeping good. I wasn't just feeling good. And this was for a very long time. Uh, in addition to that, the extra body weight was putting a ton of stress on my hip, my lower back, my knees, all of that stuff was just feeling terrible. So I committed myself to losing weight. And as a power lifter, that sucks. I mean, you're losing gains. You're right off the bat saying, I'm going to accept the fact that I will get weaker. I'm taking steps back purposefully in my strength. And uh, it's been a hard, really hard, like eight months, honestly. Uh, putting in the work to losing weight. I'm now walking around 160, 155 pounds, pretty lean, okay strong, you know? That's not really the thing right now. I try not to think about that. And that's why I'm taking you along on the uh, old hike here. I've got uh, this Sorinex plate loadable Alice pack frame, and we're gonna go hiking back here in these hills for a little bit. Uh, maybe chit chat some, continue the update. Why don't you come and join me? Not sure if you can see the Jeep way back there. Actually, not that far back, maybe like 50 yards. The snow has been a son of a bitch. <sighs> Getting up here, slowly but surely. Very slowly but surely. Got a little pond down there. Might need to ice skate it sometime. I don't know, uh, geez, it is a freaking beautiful day. And uh, this is what I've just been enjoying for like the last four months is getting outside. I mean, there can't be enough said for doing that. No matter how much time you spend in the gym, you should always find like one hour a week minimum to get outside because this just opens up your mind, just allows you to think a little bit more clearly. So here's the deal, peeps. We got uh, weather conditions uphill and no weather conditions downhill. So I think we're gonna start heading uphill. Um, maybe until it gets super bad. Let's see.
This is fucking sweet! Oh my god! Let's come check this out. Fucking snow, am I right? Pretty sweet. I don't know why I'm whispering. What's up? We're inside somebody else's old fucking log cabin. Jesus, this thing is dilapidated. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but I think we can do it. Um, some signs of life. Why don't you come inside here and check out what we got going inside nice and cozy. It's full of shit, like literally full of animal shit. So let's get the fuck out of here. Well, people, getting pretty close to the end of this road here. I think just a little bit more hiking. The air is thin, guys. Damn. Tell you about that water stuff I've been working on. The mine, its water tunnel was pumping out a bunch of water and it was killing the creek. According to the EPA, the creek next to my own cabin was dead because this mine was the worst polluter in the state. So, since I have been there, myself and a very small group of people have been working on the site and trying to develop it and clean it up. And luckily we've had two successful months of 100% passing according to uh, the water standards. So we send that in to a third party lab. They test it for heavy metals, cadmium, zinc, uh, arsenic, mercury I think as well and they let us know whether or not we're passing with our uh, treatment process and so far we've got it to pass two months and uh, I feel pretty good about that you know it's something else to commit yourself to a cause that's bigger than yourself you know it really speaks volumes for the individuals that do that and you know I do this is very small there's people that are literally changing the world by putting themselves forward and doing the work, committing to the job, not quitting. And that's crazy inspirational. So I'm just out here trying to do my own little part, clean up a tiny little creek in my own backyard, and damn do I feel good about it. And you know what? It's helped me get in much better shape. So that's awesome. I definitely encourage all of you to find something that you can be a part of, no matter how big or small, and just help out, do the work, put in the time, put in a bit of sweat, maybe a little bit of blood, make some progress, and you'll feel good about it. That I promise. Yeah, so clouds are really coming in now, and temperature dropped a lot. So I'm gonna turn back around. We're gonna go downhill. Uh, continuous conditioning, I guess. Feeling good. Back's a little sore. Alice packs have never been the best. 
but this one you can load with plates and so far it's doing pretty good. Thanks Sornex. Uh, we're here on the steep about ready to come on down from our nice conditioning hike. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. I feel a little bit broke off. Just a little bit broke off. Down here you might be able to see the uh, Jeep and that pond. We're gonna try to make it down there and uh, then I gotta go pick up my kiddo from school. So let's beat some feet. Coming down to the Jeep, about another 500, 750 yards or so. A little bit steep, a little bit slippy. A little slippy. That's all right, we got some poop over here. Check out that. Lots of poop. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Going outside, losing weight, hiking about, lifting some weights, cleaning water. All that good stuff, you know? Normal dad stuff. Some of you probably been like, damn Cody, you got all this cool new equipment in your gym, what's up with that? Well, it's actually my birthday in 10 days. So uh, December 23rd, it's my birthday. I'll be 32 years old, pretty crazy. 32 years old, a lot of stuff going on this December. And man, I'm loving it. Uh, just trying to catch a little bit of this oxygen if there's any out here. Damn, see this is what I'm talking about right here. All the snow, the snow's gonna suck. Get through all this freaking snow, ridiculous. Ugh, god damn. It's back, it's back. It's fucking heavy. Not really. It's not like actually heavy, it's just heavy for me right now because my shit's weak. Coming down to the final approach here. And uh, just want to say thanks for subscribing to my channel. I've got 15,000 subs. It's crazy. And uh, I know I don't make a ton of videos and I'll put out all kinds of new, informative, and uh, revolutionary content, but I hope the content I put out there is entertaining at the very least. Maybe you learned something or two. And uh, geez. Maybe you go outside or something, who knows?